part that I'm just going to lock this and put a layer above it. And when you do this, taking a text tool, just resetting it and keeping it within a text box, but I'm not necessarily going to, going to type it out, so I'm just going to put inspiring our students to achieve Okay, so going over those uh, main parts at least, trying to select a color. So I'm just going to give it give it orange to start off with, <clears throat> and taking this and just shift keying it across, and it's going to be using the character palette to help. Now you don't always have to do it this way, but I just want to try to see if we can um, carry it on from here. So I'm just going to I'll just try using all Helvetica. Types. I'm just going to put bold in there for starters and see what happens. So here's two lines of text um, coming up in there. Again, if you use the eyedrop tool, just clicking on eye, you can click on these colors and the colors show up. But I'm just going to come over here. I don't have anything highlighted based off of that, so I'm just going to give it a new color for that one. I'm going to click on the orange, give that a new color in the swatches and then see about grabbing the blue and do the same thing. So now I have all three colors um, ready to go as far as I start off. Okay, So I could kind of decide, well, which way do you want to go with this? I'm going to double-click this part, click it yellow, triple-click actually clicks the page and clicks the, uh, the line of text that's in there. So. Right now I can distinguish the three separate colors from there so far. Okay, And again, here's the, here's the color piece. So within here, it's trying to say, well, how, how large can this be? So I'm just going to either click and drag, or I can, like I said, double click on it, click inside here and just increase the type. So I'm just going to go as far as that part is to our students and let that be the main section of type. Um, Keep in mind that this text box, when you go to paragraph, is aligned left, so I'm going to align it to the center, okay, just so I can keep a track of that. So, so far, not too bad. I'm going to click on To Achieve, triple click so I can get the entire line of that. Go back to the character and just increase this part here. And you can see that the, <clears throat> the lettering, since I did decide to choose all Helvetica, for example, this part, just keep it as regular. Okay, do the same for this one. Triple click this one and just go to regular. Okay, and this one, as far as the point size, I'm just going to reduce it down a little bit to fit in there. Triple click on this part for to achieve. Increase that one. And you'll notice that it's a little narrower, so you have the horizontal scale. So you can kind of adjust it that way. So I'm squeezing it a little bit together. The kerning, if you remember, and the tracking, setting the points a little tighter, and then changing the point size a little bit. So it's given me that option. And same with, same with this one. I can increase or decrease the vertical or horizontal scale and go into the kerning. And I'm just using the arrow key to adjust it. <clears throat> and again, trying to adjust some of these fonts themselves. So I'm trying to keep it all within one text box just to see if it's able to do it. You can do it both ways. Here's the the letting. So when you see this part, I'm kind of looking at the top two lines. Now I'll just highlight these two. And you can see that I can adjust this part for here. And do the same with this one. So it's just trying to get you to use all of the one text box to see if you can manipulate the exact text and coming up. So I'm not perfect, 
in that case I can just shift key this down to fit it in a little bit. And now I have that that piece. Okay. So see if you can uh, break that up. Now keep in mind this font for Helvetica is not that uh, strong, but I can always take the coloring of this, and this is one way around it. I'm not saying it's the best, but it's just showing you the option that you have for that. That you can increase the stroke on a text and give it a, a fake uh, boldness to it by doing that. So it's kind of a quick way to do that too. So see about, about that. So it's kind of a faux a bold type if you don't have the type exactly the way you want. So again, here's the achieve, here's the part, click on the color for the stroke, and just increase the point size a little bit. Okay. So there you have it. See if you can't adjust this. So there's the two of them together.